Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another h Fires 4 replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as blue Ayubids, we have Recon with a lowercase c. Spawn on the bottom left side, or top left side as the blue yellow Byzantians, we have L, Louis, and T. And we do have a cistern immediately collecting up the berry bushes. So it looks like we will not see the Grand Winery, but we're going to eye the Royal Hippodrome. Meh. Yellow does find some sheeple. Blue has both deer pretty close by each other, along with some berry bushes. This would be a great expansion direction for the Ayubid. Got some gold over here, two small gold deposits. And also has two small gold deposits over here. So he actually has a pretty good core of resources pretty close by his town center. Doesn't have to worry about four. Two large gold deposits more in the middle. Yellow has three gold deposits back here, along with the berries and ear deposits. This one the farthest away, as well as some stone. Gold, stone, and Pumbaa here. And now we do have the military wing. Reinforcements being deployed on out. I don't know why. Whenever I see the word reinforcements, I think of Asian mythology. Reinforcements from the surface. And which ram mission was that? Was it the Greek or the Norse ram mission? I think both of them had that voice line. <clears throat> Yellow does send back home eight sheeple. Blue has two. So blue's actually running a little bit low on sheep. <clears throat> do now the Imperial Hippodrome not be employed on the field? Hmm, what natives are on the map? We do have the Sapahi, and over here we do have Musafati Warriors and Camel Archers. So we probably won't see the mercenary camps on the field. He may be on for Keshiks to go along with the Royal Hippodrome, but that's just a guess. He does have 500 olive oil now, which is enough for a round of mercenaries. <clears throat> First Desert Raider on the field. Love to cistern there, which open with wood collection. The cistern could have been placed a little bit closer to the wood, but it's primarily. Oh, I suppose it's skimming the gold there. Let's switch over to the Byzantine player. Yeah, it does actually skim the gold perfectly, so that's why it's wood out right there. It'll skim up some of the wood, but nothing too much. Berries not being obtained there. The bit more exposed berries and the safer berries. We even got a, and it's also a local doggo there to pet with those berry bushes. That's clearly the better expansion direction. Get a free dog. We do have a round of long bowmen up in cornfield, so he's gone for the Western mercenary contracts. Desert Raiders and Scout trying to engage these horsemen. Does have a third horseman? I think you need a two horsemen per Desert Raider to properly engage. This is probably enough there. Just make sure the Scout is only being attacked by the Scout. Looks like he's now confident. The wood resource being flowed out by the Ayyubid. He probably has, yeah, does have Golden Age Tier 1. Oh, Fast Castle. Got economic growth now being researched. He may be eyeing. F he can probably go for advancement lastly. I wonder how effective is the Trade Wing Bazaars if it's at a later age. Because this one says four favorable trades still, like it is in Feudal Age, so the value conversion rate of the gold is probably significantly higher if you go for later ages. Horseman charging away on in, no anti-villager damage, and that will decrease the number of hits to, take, to kill villagers by one. 
But it is a good research to if you go and raid your opponent's villagers. Longbowman not engaging. Horse or scout does quite a bit of damage there. Killing the scout is nice, but not critical. Let's get the scout. Scout is down. Not big surprise. We also got some blue horsemen now being put on the field. Eric's now going on up. We got another scout over here. Another round of longbowmen. So it's 10 longbowmen on the field. And there's the castle age. He's still getting occasional free Desert Raiders. He doesn't need really need to get them to better Desert Raider if he's going to eye for Camel Lancers afterwards. Longbone Argon hit by the outpost there. Horsemen charging the way onto the Desert Raiders. And there is the Triumph. And that must be a pretty sizable Triumph. We have 15 more seconds and it's like a 20 second Triumph. Quickly taking out multiple villagers and the camel lancers or camel desert raiders. Blah. Now, do I got a camel lancer to pull on the field? I always have trouble with distinguishing to do. You most have to look at the guy on the back or the camel itself because the, the camels are pretty similar. There's very slight differences. Longbowman now falling back, taking some hits there. And these forces need to run away. Horsemen do move faster than scouts, and the scout's almost dead, so may just want to leave behind the scout. Ooh, got some Gilams on the field. Gilams have more health than regular mana arms, and higher attack speed while having a little bit lower damage. Their base, their attack speed basically evens out to like plus 50% attack speed faster. They offer a one tick faster attack speed while the next follow up attack is at like 0.5. You saw there for a brief moment. Roughly makes out they have this been faster attack speed than a regular mana arms. This longbow and are going on down. Another round of triumph, but that shouldn't last too long. Yeah, I sound through a couple seconds. Does get a nice a lance there at the camel lancer. Got some various blacksmith research for the Byzanti player. No economic. Well, the IBS have gone economic, but strange enough, no wheelbarrow. They're just taking some hits there. And Lancer intercepting. That's extracted by that horseman there. Scout does get impaled. And let's charge the way forward. I never, it says it does more damage the longer it uh, charges up, plus 40%. I guess 45 is the max. Yeah, you can see 32 is the lowest, 45 is the max. Yeah, where we get that? Looks like Yellow's finished off the berries. He may want to get more filters on wood now to transition to some olive groves. But he can still climb up deer. Camel Lancer is charging the way forward. <coughs> Blue has quite a bit of villagers down here, but does have some action. Scout down. May want to go for textiles. Golden Horn Tower now being researched. So both players will be Castle Age. This will, of course, give him some free long boat time frame. He could hold off the veteran mercenary contracts until he gets a good number of longbow in the field. Because Lance Connects, actually no, Lance Connects on this in this age wouldn't be half bad because his opponent's current composition. They offer really good damage. Their health is relatively low, so the 
Elams will be effective versus them, but the Lance Connects can do quite well against vast mass melee force, so going for our veteran mercenary contracts may be better to go for that earlier on. Because I think Lance Connects would be better in this situation than Long Bowmen. Long Bowmen are nice. And they'll have trouble dying, but also means other things will be dying <clears throat> in your composition, since they're on the back line. And they don't offer anything particularly effective against Gilom's or Cam Lancers. Just minor fire support. You see now the veteran mercenary contracts and the veteran Lumentani. Or Lumentani? I never really know how to pronounce the large on these names. I should really sit down and look at them. If I remember correctly from Fallout New Vegas, yes, I'll use that as a reference. I think it was like Lumentari, but I see no R there, so that may not be correct. Oh, we got traitors. We have traitors being pulled up by Blue. Ayubid, as well as Abbasid, didn't see these traitors are dirt cheap, costing 33% less. They cost 40-40. And so there, it's pretty easy to transition into them, but he still needs some walls there, or some random, uh, force mode taken out. Let's get the plus villager damage. These are classified as workers, so I'm pretty sure the bonus damage versus villagers does just plus two damage versus workers. I'm trying to find a stable. Where's the stable? Oh, it's from the Impetrum, so... So it's plus two damage versus worker, and those traders are classified as workers, so it will make it a bit easier to kill them. It will make it, as of right now, it will take 10 hits to take out those traders since they have 90 base health. They have a plus two damage, it will put it down to eight hits, I think. <laughs> Do now the teardrop shield being researched. And I'm a limb handy there, but the Gilams do cause some big issues. We got a couple crossbows not mixed on in. Cam Lancers are classified as heavy calves, so they will take bone damage from crossbows, but they're only here in small numbers. Now, number of reigning guard now pulling on the field. <coughs> Mix of them and the limb handy should be a good idea. One to gauge the spearmen, the other one to gauge the Gilams. They do have plus one more melee arm compared to regular melee arm, so the Gilons will do less damage versus them. But they do still offer good health and attack speed. I got the veteran archer research and the veteran horseman research. More palisade walls are now going on up. Got the secret site being captured up by the dervish. And we got the relic number four now picked up by blue. Last relics right there, so it's unlikely he's going to capture that. Longbone decapturing the sacred site. We do have. Bone Age Tier 3. Bone Limit Handy. Game Pond Field as well as more crossbows. Getting some free lands connects. Iranian Guard. Now slicing up the Dervish. Elon takes some hits there, only has plus one range armor at the moment. And there goes the camel. 
Στρατιώτες, ο δρόμος περιμένει. Του το εκτελώ. Boris now starting to go on down. Archers and Longbowmen. Maybe Longbowmen should have played out some palings that they had opportunity to do it beforehand. But right now he's starting to get overran by these forces. He needs to keep those crossbowmen alive. He can probably let the Longbowmen be in front, take some more hits there, allow the crossbowmen. Yeah, there we go, the crossbowmen starting to get in the back. Longbowmen now trying to take up the archers. Very nice. Yale did a good job of sort of stepping away. <clears throat> Overrun guard, more lance connects now being pulled on out, and now there's a Magnell that will rip apart these ranged forces, no problem. Magnell gets a good hit there. Desert Raider quick goes down there, being a Feudal Age Desert Raider with no range armor. Ooh, you disintegrate very quickly. Looks like a couple outposts not being pulled out here. I do see some Brandon Guard there trying to engage some of these traitors. Very nice. Who's trying to respond to it? He may want to get these traitors or put them off the side. He does have teardrop shields from I think research, so if you go ahead and berserk and Really engage. Oh no, that's a berserking research. Teardrop shield just increased the movement speed. Or maybe we'll get those mixed up. Couple lands connects there. There we'll see bone sandwich from those archers. And this Brandon Guard will now be engaged by the Cam Lancers. These handful of Brandon Guard are just backing on off to re ambush the trade post. Sacred site now captured. Got melee damage now being researched by the Byzantine player. Outpost not being built. Sacred site not being captured. Good hit there. The wall is set ablaze. Capturing up the second site by yellow. Got various forces there. Magano making a good shot there. Got some Lance Knex getting hit. And Penny, Brandon Guard, and Lance Knex trying to push away forward. Trying to gauge the Maganel. Maganel does get hit there on some of the crossbows. Some yellow's ranged units are quite damaged. Maganel does not get another shot off there. <laughs> Yellow's now captured all the sacred sites there. Crossbows engaging. Camelots is going to go on down. Elams will be ripped apart by those crossbows. Blue needs to back them off and get some more archers and regular horsemen. Perhaps engage this force. Elon's up to way up north over here. Do have these crossbows and Brandon Guard now engaging the Gamma Lancers. Also has quite a bit of force there. Elon's getting ripped apart. Crossbows taking out the Gilons. Longbowmen focus on those archers or crossbows. Very nice. We now have a spring bone placement here. And some of these bows are not getting hit as well. Yellow can push forward with a handful of longbowmen there. Monk does go down, Sick Sight does get decaptured. Battle of Rhino Palisade Walls now to fully protect the trade. There's a small number to protect the trade by a small amount. Come 
τη μάτσετε τα όπλα. Στρατιώτε, ο δρόμο ο I'm gonna guard now engaging. Does decide to berserk there, which is, I really don't know if that's good or bad idea versus the Gilams. It will reduce armor, it will increase his own damage against the Gilams. They have pretty good attack speed while berserking. Looks like it is pretty good successful. Now some of these traders gonna get hit by the berserking green guard. Some more traders going down there. Got some crossbows now engaging. Green guards berserking does wear off in good time. Another trader does go down there. Very nice. Yellow's now starting to push his way forward into these walls. We got some town center here. All six sites have been recaptured by Yellow. Yellow so far has killed off 43 civilians. Mining technology by Yellow. Longbowman and Granny Garb push way forward. Got a pair of Maganellos now pulled on out. So we'll report these formations quite easily and can also engage the spring gold. You know, take a bit of time to finish it all. <clears throat> Those lose one of the Maganellos. Those take the spring gold there with the Maganellos. And now we've got the Berserking Burning Guard that overrun the Maganell and blew back to the game. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.